see if I actually would enjoy it. And oh my damn, I really do. And it feels like you're wearing pajamas. I'm still trying to figure out what I can put on that wall. But that's better than Christmas in January. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my January favorites. I'm going to be talking about my makeup favorites, of course. I have a clothing favorite and a few uh, TV shows. So with this quick intro, let's just get into it. Okay, so for beauty, my first favorite is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. I hauled this, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks ago, and I've been loving it ever since. It is such a great, pigmented, easy to work with eyeliner. And in my haul, I said it was similar to the uh, Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On eyeliners, and they very much are, but these are just so much better. Because <laughs> I find with the Urban Decay eyeliners, I have to sharpen it like every time I use it which is kind of annoying. But with this eyeliner, I can use it about three, five times max, and then I have to sharpen. So that's a lot better than every single time sharpening it. So I really enjoyed this eyeliner, and I know there's a few other colors they have, because my mom actually has like the purples and the browns and stuff. So I definitely want to look into those, because this was an amazing eyeliner. It is an amazing eyeliner. And I think this is my new favorite now. Okay, so the next for favorites, it is the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm. So this has been kind of talked about for quite a little while now here on YouTube. And I believe it was Nikki Tutorials that was the first one that kind of introduced us all for this to be a primer. And I was a little skeptical at first because, you know, it's an aftershave balm. Primer, like where it's at, really working, but this actually is a really great primer. I've been using it every day since I've gotten it back in like end of December. It's just a lotion and it does smell like a man. It has like a, it's like that cologne scent, but it doesn't stay on your face. You'll smell it for like a couple of seconds, but then once it dries, it goes away completely, so don't worry about the scent. Yeah, I honestly really recommend this if you're looking for a nice, cheaper primer, because this really works well, and you get like triple the amount in this product than you do with like your typical primer. So my next favorite is the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Sponge. I, <sighs> this just changed my face game so much. I never really got on the hype of using a sponge for your foundation, especially the Beauty Blender. Everyone loves those. And I really do want to try it. I just can't justify spending $30 on a sponge. But people are still telling me like, oh, it's worth it. It's amazing. You'll love it. So I wanted to try a cheaper alternative first to see if I actually would enjoy it. And oh my damn, I really do. It just gets right in your eyes and it conceals beautifully. I just really adore this product and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new way to apply your foundation because this stuff is really awesome. I just feel like when it's wet, it loses its like structure almost and it just doesn't work as well as it does when it's dry. So that would be my only tip. Use it dry, not wet. My next beauty favorite, I have talked about this, I'm pretty sure in my last like two videos and it is the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette. Just look at those shadows. Whew. I just love that the majority of the palette is matte and you get about two or three uh, like shimmer shades. All the wonderful looks I have created so far because of this palette I just mm, I just love it. And it makes me really want to get the original Tartlet palette because I'm pretty sure that's still available at Sephora. Like the package is pretty, the shadows are pretty, they are so easy to work with, they're super pigmented and blendable, and all the colors work together, and so that's really helpful too. And I just... And yes, I did do a tutorial on this last week, 
and I will have that posted down below if you want to check that out. Okay, so my last two makeup favorites are both uh, lip products. The first one is the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint in uh, Love Spell. And same thing, I got this back in my haul and this stuff is really just great. <laughs> the color is beautiful, the formulation is really nice, it's a matte finish but it doesn't feel your lips feeling dry or anything. When I use this product, I personally find my lips to be um, like a nice smooth texture almost, but matte. And considering I have pretty bad dry lips, they get so dry and cracked like every day, it's very annoying. And I was kind of nervous about this product because it is matte, matte and dry lips just kind of don't work together. This product did. And the color itself lasted pretty much all day long. It left a really nice uh, stain on my lips, and same thing, the stain wasn't drying to my lips or anything, it didn't feel like awkward. If you were interested in these, I would definitely recommend them. Because Tarte came out with the lip paints and the lip crayons, do not get the lip crayons. Oh my gosh. In my Tarte uh, makeup tutorial that I did, I talked briefly about the lip crayon because I used it, and yeah, it just sucks. Don't buy it. Get the lip paint. It's better. Okay, and then my last beauty favorite is the Milani Lipstick in Sangria. Uh, I love this color. It's like a nice purpley pink color. And it looks more purple in the container, but when you actually apply it, it is more of a pinky purple, which I've been loving this season. This is just a really great lipstick. Same thing, it lasts a long time. It uh, doesn't make my lips feel dry or anything because this one's much more like moisturizing because it's not supposed to be a matte finish. And the smell of it too. It's like a nice watermelon fruity scent. It smells divine. This is just a beautiful lipstick. And I just realized I didn't give you a swatch for the Tarte one. Give me a minute. Okay, we're back. So these are the swatches of the two lipsticks. This one is the uh, Milani lipstick and that one is the Tarte uh, lip paint. Both super gorgeous, I just love them. Okay, so then for my clothing favorite, it is just one pair of leggings that I have just been apparently living in for this past month. They are just so cute and comfy, and it feels like you're wearing pajamas, but you're not. So this is what they look like. Um, I got these from Forever 21 about a year or two ago, and I just love the floral print on them. They are so adorable. My sister actually has the exact same pair. And these were only about 10 or 11 bucks, so that's not too bad at, I was gonna say Sephora, at Forever 21. Those pants are, like I said, they're just so incredibly comfy, and I love that they look nice too, but are comfy, the best of both worlds. And then finally, for TV show favorites, I didn't realize, but this month has been like the premieres of new shows, and I love it. Well, not new shows, but like returning shows. Anyways, my top three shows that I've been loving. Um, I've mentioned this show a bunch of times before. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Such a hilarious show. The new season, season 11, how crazy is that? Started in January. And as of today, there's been three episodes aired and they are just so hilarious. I highly recommend that show. It is on Netflix, so that's always handy. It is a little raunchy, sometimes inappropriate, but that's just my sense of humor, so I really enjoy it, and so does my family. <laughs> and the other TV show that premiered this month was Shameless. Love that show. And I love it too because it's the Gallagher's family and Gallagher. I just love how with that show too, each season just kind of gets like more crazy and like, what is going on? But it's still so entertaining and fun to watch. It is a really incredible show. And same thing, I would recommend that as well. It, it's not on Netflix, unfortunately. But yeah, it's a really funny show. It's like a drama, but comedy. It's great. But also, a little fair warning, there can be a bit of nudity going on. So if that's not your thing, you might want to watch something else. And then for my final show favorite, it's been off the air for quite some time now. But it's on Netflix, and I've just been re-watching it again. It is Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> That show is just so funny. Like, I grew up watching that show, and so now the fact that it's on Netflix, I just 
love rewatching every episode again. And it's just funnier too seeing um, Brian Cranston as Hal and then watching Breaking Bad. It's like, what? <laughs> He's such a great actor. But anyways, really funny show. Same thing, like I said, it's on Netflix. So check that out. All right, so those are all of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe, do what you feel like doing. And just list down below any of your January favorites because I always love hearing from you guys. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.